Hey guys, hey God feelers, welcome to this video. We're gonna talk about the three worst supplement mistakes that I made for years that I see people making over the top all the time. One of the most common mistakes that not only cost you your money, but they also cost you your health. Supplement <laughs> supplement mistake number one. I see that all the time and nobody looks there. So you have your supplement. I do not recommend this supplement. This is just from my neighbor what I got. You got, oh, I think I'm buying this amino acid. And then, oh, just take it. Well, the worst part is in the back. And it's not here. It's under supplement facts, which says other ingredients. Other ingredients. This is where the toxicity hides, guys. 90% of the supplements are just waste. They are just waste. They are cost you your health. They cost you your money. And those other ingredients, guys, they are not there to help you. They are there to make the production cheaper, flow agents, anything that helps to fill in the capsules. They are fillers in there, which just make the capsule bigger. Welcome America, the bigger the better. The supplement industry, guys, is a multi-billion dollar industry per year just in, in the US alone. Almost nobody is interested in you getting better. They're interested in selling you this. They're investing into nice packaging. They're investing into, into fillers, making it bigger, but they're not investing into high quality. So make sure the other ingredients, guys, there are so many toxic ingredients, magnesium steroid, steric acid, artificial and natural flavors, just to name a few. If you want to learn more about toxic ingredients to avoid, what you need to make sure that you have in a supplement, how to recognize a good supplement and is actually supportive for your gut health, make sure you check out my gut supplement kit. I just created this as a video tutorial where you get all the information and you get a booklet, an e-guide with it. So you have everything to print out, go to the store. It's done for you. Many people have tested it so far. People like it. I think you like it as well. I link it in the description below. So number one mistake, other ingredients, toxic ingredients, fillers, anything that doesn't belong there. If you're new to this channel, my name is Peggy from PeggySherman.com. You are watching Gut Feelings, here to support you to become your own health expert, taking your health back into your own hands without being more dependent on doctors, medication, supplements, or even people like me talking to you in the camera, but you understanding what your body really needs. We're doing weekly live Q&As where you can ask your questions, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Second one on the list, and I don't blame any for anybody for this because this is really like a science, the whole supplements thing. Thing. If you buy a supplement, let's say it's a mineral, yeah, people. I often recommend people buying zinc products because we are deficient in zinc. So the good person watching the, the video goes out there and buys something where it shows on the package says zinc. Now, mistake here is that zinc not equals zinc. The same with magnesium. There's a rainbow of different types of magnesium, of different types of zinc. And to paint it black and white for you, the difference between a good zinc supplement and a bad zinc supplement is this one is bioavailable, meaning your body can do something with it, and this one is not. Best example is liquid zinc sulfate. The zinc sulfate, which naturally occurs in plants that you eat. So you absorb the zinc, your body knows what to do with it, and it goes straight to the organs where it's needed, immune system, your liver, your gut health. Zinc oxide. Zinc oxide is a soil-based form of zinc. Zinc oxide is a mineral that usually plants absorb in their body and they transform it into zinc sulfate. So your body with zinc with zinc oxide, you just clog up your liver. It doesn't help you. It's not bioavailable. So make sure if you buy anything that it's a high bioavailable form. Same with magnesium. I've got a, a video just on how to find the best magnesium supplement. I link that up here for you as well. Make sure you check that out. And again, in the gut supplement guide that I just mentioned, everything is laid out for you. I talk about different forms of magnesium, about the three most important supplements you need if you want to improve your gut health. Make sure you check that out and see if it's for you. Now, before we come to number three, this is number six, right? Number three, I'm getting confused with that. <laughs> before we come to number three, if you're still watching, please consider hitting that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Number three, guys, I don't blame anybody for this. I, I made this mistake for years, for years and years. My father gave me supplements when I was just four years old. We are kind of a supplement family. And that mistake is 
thinking that taking a supplement will help you to overcome and cure your illnesses, your chronic diseases, your gut struggles forever. And you think about, I, I thought that's why I'm buying a supplement. No. You, the only reason why you buy a supplement is to speed up the healing journey. This supplement or any other supplement cannot make up all the years of bad food, all the years of stress, all the years of trauma, whatever happened in your life, accidents, medication that you took. It can just speed up your healing, but you cannot keep on doing the same things all over again. It needs so much more than just a supplement to heal from chronic illnesses, especially related to your digestion. Rinse and repeat, guys, the three worst gut supplement mistakes. I hope you're not crying now. I'm, I hope I put this into words so you can actually apply it. Number one, look at the other ingredients list. Number two, understand that you need a bioavailable form. Research that, look here on the channel, gut feelings, a lot of videos about that. My gut supplement kit goes into depth about that. And third, last but not least, just relying on a supplement is not enough to heal from chronic illnesses. Never, it can just speed up your healing journey, which of course is very valuable. And now before we end, question of the day for you, I wanna know from you, have you made any of those three mistakes? Or maybe another one that you just found out? Let me know in the comments below.